having that opportunity yet again uh, that is as strong or stronger than it was before. That would put you into the arena of things like Joy Global uh, and things like that. You see what I'm saying? And it's very easy to figure. And just going through the indexes very quickly, you know, just like I just did right there, you're looking for a pattern. Where is the one that has the most price compression and the biggest backdrop of technical strength present on the daily charts alone? And then quickly, just like I just did right here, quickly just drop down to that group and sector that has that kind of thing and look for the ones that have the technical patterns that are the most advanced in that sector. See, uh, and Joy Global appears to be the number one pick in that particular group that has the ability to keep advancing. See? So already today it was down at 48 and a half and went to 50.73. See what I'm saying? But you see the technical strength? Price at a new low, indicator not. See? So the lower time frames releasing the pressure and it easily moves. Easily. See? No problem. And it, that's just Something that has already been true. I've already told you guys in the past few weeks about the KOL coal index. Nothing has changed. In fact, it's stronger now than it was. You know, in spite of PCX going bankrupt. You see what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with this. See? You follow me? No, Arch Coal, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think that was uh, one of the... Uh, no, not the way the technical pattern looked. Yeah, the price is at a bottom and things like that. And yeah, possibly move up. But I don't I don't think there's much trading activity on it, not like Joy Global would have probably. And um, you know, the ability to advance. There's also uh Walter Energy, which is probably the best coal company around and the most expensive stock in that coal actual coal miners group and things like that. But uh yeah. The arch call, the indicator dropping. See, with Joy Global, it's not. See how Go Joy Global, that's not dropping. It's turned a corner, and it's got the ability to scoop the price. See, and the lower time frames fuel it, and Joy Global is going to be the number one thing in that list, looks like. See, uh, and I'm not trying to figure everything out. I'm just simply looking quickly at the technical pattern underneath it. And it easily uh, defaults to Joy Global and not the other things. And we're not looking just at the price, you know, being a double bottom. We're not looking at that. And we're looking at the levels of the indicator, how the indicator is reacting uh, in its current technical mode and stuff like that, and just like this. See how the blue line on it is scooped underneath the price, and the lower time frames fuel that upside divergence that's already here. See, like that, you see what I'm saying? That's compared this to this. You, you follow what I'm saying? Could easily put put it up over 55. You follow me? It just moved two dollars or something during the day today. So you think moving in another uh, five dollars before the entire end of the week is going to be difficult? See, you get the lower time frames fueling, it'd be a piece of cake. See?